Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel eDrive. As you maybe know, I'm Alex. Today I like to show you something about the charging speed of a cold battery. Cold. Uh, when I start driving this morning, the battery mean temperature was 7 degrees Celsius. Now I drove already around about 70 to 75 kilometers and uh, some of them I drove on the four line road sometimes without speed limit but I'm not driving faster than 100 kilometers per hour. I set the cruise control usually to 100 kilometers per hour and uh, some of the tracks is also going through villages, uh, through the city, I need to stop at the traffic lights. So all in all I'm not driving that fast and if it's possible I set it to maximum 100 kilometers per hour. And now after 70-75 kilometers the mean battery temperature is 11 degrees Celsius. And uh, with that cold battery I like to show you the charging speed at the 43 kilowatts AC quick charger. Because I have the Renault Zoe with the Q motor, which can handle 43 kilowatts AC. And if the battery is warm usually, after driving very fast or in summertime, then the DC charging speed goes up to uh, 37, maybe almost 38 kilowatts DC. That's always what's going inside the battery, not what's delivering from the charging station, no. The DC power is what is going inside the battery and that's maximum around about 38 kilowatts DC if the battery is very warm and the conditions is nice. But like I said, right now the battery mean temperature is only 11 degrees Celsius. So let's see how the charging speed is now. And the usable state of charge of the battery pack is right now 26.4%. Real state of charge shows here on my CanSet e app. 33%. So if the state of charge is that low, it really should charge with full maximum charging power. You can see here the outside temperature is 9 degrees Celsius, delivered from the charging station 39.9 kilowatts AC and going to the battery pack is only 25 kilowatts. Now it went down to 23.3 kilowatts DC and the battery mean temperature is still 11 degrees Celsius. I just started charging right now. And the battery charging power is actually decreasing. Ah, yeah, it's 22.0 kilowatts DC. Yeah, it's going up and down, fluctuating somehow a little bit. Now only 20.0 kilowatts DC. And the battery mean temperature is still 11 degrees. Uh, it's hard to get the focus to get a real display on the cell phone. So you see the battery is really a big factor in charging speed. And the problem is the Renault Zoe don't have an active battery heating. Even though some mechanics or some salesmen told me yes yes it have active battery heating. No it doesn't have. It only have active battery cooling not heating. So. If it's cold, it's cold and the charging speed is really slow, even I have a very high input power. Like you see right now, input power, it was 40.2 kilowatts AC, now only 39.9 kilowatts AC. It's also going up and down somehow a little bit, but the DC charging power, oh, it's still decreasing 19.5 kilowatts DC. It went down. Maybe after charging for 15-20 minutes, if the battery temperature is higher, then the charging power will also decrease somehow a little bit. and It will go above 20-25 kilowatts DC. Let's see. Let's monitor it. The mean battery temperature is still 11 degrees Celsius. Now after 6 minutes charging, <laughs> the DC charging power even went down to 16.1 kilowatts DC and you can see usable state of charge is not that high still 32.0 percent and the battery mean temperature is rising slowly 
now it's 12 degrees Celsius. And you see the DC charging power still 15.8 kilowatts DC. Now after 14 minutes charging, you see the mean battery temperature just went up to 13 degrees Celsius and the DC charging power went up to 16.7 kilowatts DC going straight inside the battery pack. Yeah, it's always fluctuating a little bit going up and down. So it takes time until the charging power gets higher. It's still far away from uh, above well, near 40 kilowatts DC. So right now after exact 20 minutes of charging the battery mean temperature went up to 14 degrees Celsius and you can see the DC charging power is still 16.1 kilowatts DC slightly going up and down but now it's not going below 16 kilowatts DC anymore and you can see top left 40.2 kilowatts AC delivered from the charging station so the power is there from the charging station only the electronics regulating what power is going inside the battery pack is keep it very very low because of the low battery temperature I think later when the battery will reach 20 degrees Celsius it's already full so it cannot charge quick anymore so even the 22 kilowatts Renault Zoe cannot charge with 22 kilowatts if the battery is cold you can see it's always low low charging speed never mind how quick the maximum input power is Wow, now the DC charging power just went up to 18.3 kilowatts DC. The battery mean temperature is still 14 degrees Celsius. But the DC power is always fluctuating, it's going up and down, it's not always the same. Before it was also up to 18 kilowatts, then it went down again to 15 point something kilowatts and now it's up again to 18.2 kilowatts. 18.1 kilowatts DC battery mean temperature still 14 degrees Celsius now after 25 minutes charging the battery mean temperature just went up to 15 degrees Celsius and it's still charging only with 16.5 kilowatts DC yeah it's always going up and down it's not straight with the same power charging I don't know what is this electronic doing sometimes it's going up to 18 kilowatts then it's going again down to 16 sometimes 15 point something kilowatts it's crazy electronics <laughs> doing crazy things while charging let's see when the DC power will change again yeah 16.3 kilowatts DC See, it even went down to 15.5 kilowatts DC charging power, but the battery mean temperature is still 15 degrees Celsius. Oh, 15.2 kilowatts DC. Probably the reason why it's going down is because the battery real state of charge, the, the, the battery state of charge is rising. I realized that when it reached 50%, state of charge the charging power is going down when it was before yeah, 38 kilowatts DC then it's going down but now it's still low and it's going down oh I cannot understand those techniques if you have any information why this uh, battery is charging sometimes with high power then it's low power it's always changing up and down please write it in the comment section below it would be very very interesting why Renault made it like this I cannot understand this now after 30 minutes charging the battery mean temperature is up to 16 degrees Celsius and you see the DC charging power is still not that high 16.9 kilowatts DC now after 35 minutes charging the battery mean temperature just went up to 17 degrees Celsius 
and DC power is now up to 17.4 kilowatts DC. Sometimes it's going up to 18 kilowatts DC, and then it's going down again to 17 kilowatts. So it's always fluctuating, not always the same. And delivered from the charging station, still 40.2 kilowatts AC. So the power is there to make a quick charging, but the electronic in the car is not letting them charge fast. Now, but we mean temperature still 17 degrees Celsius. 18.7 kilowatts DC is going inside the battery. Now it's going down to 17.2 kilowatts DC, but delivered from the charging station is only 18.9 kilowatts AC. Because just beside me, uh, BMW came charging with DC with the CCS charger, and that's why the charging power is limited now. And I have only 18.9 kilowatts AC. That's why, yeah, the test is not that good anymore. I cannot show you the real charging speed. But you see, even the, the battery mean temperature is already up to 17 degrees. The charging power is not that high. Yeah, it can't go higher right now. But that's the fact. So in the exact 40 minutes and 22 seconds charging, 11.727 kilowatt hours AC were delivered from the charging station. So that's it for now. It's useless to continue charging and try the charging speed because like I told you beside me the BMW is charging with the CCS charger and the charging power is limited now to 18.6 kilowatts AC. So I cannot test it anymore and show you the real charging speed. Let's try it another day. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please put it in the comments below the video. I will try to answer it as best as I can. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down is okay, like always. And if you don't like it, please write it in the comments below why you don't like the video. Okay, thank you and bye-bye.